So the central argument here that we should be talking about, because I'm sure people who want to confuse it, even lawyers or other judges who want to confuse this matter, they'll want you to argue about different things. But this is the argument. Judges are not immune to liability under the Eighth Amendment uh, for non-judicial actions. This is the actual law. So the two issues in which you can file against a judge, which they cannot use immunity. Well, first of all, in the Fitzpatrick case says that the Supreme Court has ruled that uh, if a uh, state official, which a judge is, violates federal law, they can give a ruling in the matter. And uh, as it states here in the, uh, the uh, Morellis case, is judges can be sued, but they can only be sued in a limited capacity if their actions are non-judicial. Um, and in determining whether act is judicial one or not, is whether it's a normal function of a judge. So the, uh, the central issue is here is whether this use of this New York arbitrator's opinion and you can read the law here itself, is that the fact is determined by an act of a judge, a judicial one, relates to the nature of the act itself. Whether it is the normal function, but functioned by a judge, expectations of the party, or whether they dealt with a judge in his judicial capacity. In other words, it has to either be the function of a judge and the judge has to have jurisdiction uh, over the matter. So those are the two important issues to define whether or not they can be filed under U.S. 42, whether they can be found guilty for violating the Sixth Amendment, is whether they can show that they have, uh, it's a part of their normal function. Therefore, the main questions in this case is it something that's normally performed by a judge? Number one, it's use of the arbitrator's opinion. The second question is for the criminal court judge, Judge Dow, who held a trial and uh, dismissed her of criminal charges when he is a municipal judge. Is this a normal function of a municipal judge? And the major point is, do they have jurisdiction over these issues? This is the argument. In section seven here of Judges Gone Wild, the question here before this court in terms of the criminal case is, did she get off because Daryl Young committed a crime? Did she get off by committing a crime and just um, the judge decided he wasn't going to send the case in the criminal case to the proper authorities? And that is exactly what happened. She got off committing a crime because the judge, uh, her attorney was friends with the judge and it never got to send a criminal case of her lying to the police, which is a felony. It never got sent to the proper authorities for prosecution. The second issue in the, in the uh, civil case, um, Young didn't get off because she didn't violate the First Amendment, gross negligence, fraud, abuse of process, negligence, defamation. She got off because a judge decided that he wasn't going to follow those laws. Now, the attorney generals are saying that a judge doesn't have to follow the law under the 11th Amendment. But the 11th Amendment, as we have looked at, it doesn't say that. It doesn't say judge that they protect judges who do their own thing. Uh, and to give such an interpretation is a violation of the Constitution itself. Because if the 11th Amendment really meant that a judge could do his own thing 
and uh, just follow whatever law he wanted to follow, the same founding fathers would have never had an Article 3 that talks about impeachment. They would just have Article 11 and say uh, he can do whatever he wants and he's free from everything. That's a lie. New Jersey state disbars judges, federal judges are even in, have been even impeached in New Jersey, as we have seen. So you can't have a 14th Amendment of equal protection of the law, and that's exactly what it says, the equal protection of the law and means, and then have two uh, 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 legal systems, one for one group, where you get to disbar judges, and another one you let them go and just argue the 11th Amendment that they're free to do anything that they want to do. You're abusing the judicial process, and you're just flat out lying. Daryl Young committed a felony in the state of New York, and anybody who helps a person under the law who commits a crime is also guilty of aiding and abetting criminal activity. And that's exactly what you did. And that's exactly what those judges did. I don't care if they had a different motive for not doing those things. You still aided somebody and committed a crime. And as Judge Judy said, don't pee on my leg and tell me that it's raining. Because that's exactly what they're trying to do. They don't want the issue of what they did published. They don't even want it to be discussed. They just want you to say, cover this up for me. Now, why? Why, uh, why do they want these issues covered up? Well, let's look at the attorneys here that are involved. Judge Gus, uh, Richard Gus, Brian P. Wilson, and the attorney general himself, Jeffrey S. Uh, what is it? Chillis is his name. These people send people to jail all the time for committing frauds. And um, so they're going to send someone to jail for committing a fraud. Now that their own has committed a fraud, they don't want you to talk about it. They just want you to say 11th Amendment. Let's not even look at it. Let's not even talk about it. I say let's let open the doors and stop covering up for them. And let's let it see. They sent. I think 80 teachers to jail, to jail for committing a fraud, and now they're committing a fraud. Uh, the law makes it very clear that they have no jurisdiction or rights or responsibility to place any responsibility on me in having a trial and making me responsible for her action when she done committed a felony. And she's written false comments down by the police, which is a felony under the story. So you had a trial under defamation law and made me responsible for something that she wrote down under what jurisdiction? You have no right to publish those false comments and say I had some kids pee on themselves when you're actually peeing on me, saying that I did something that I did not do. Just peeing on my leg using a, 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 an 11th Amendment to hide behind. You need to come out and everybody else, those people had to go to jail. One person, Alaya Butler, was sent to jail for three years. Sentenced three years in jail for a little thousand dollars. So what did you do? You did it for money. He fixed that case. Judge Langan under defamation law, so I would get absolutely no money. The only money you can get under defamation law is the money that you can prove that you lost. And if you can't put anything up there from time to go on to court or lost court day, just some petty amount. Yes, that's why he did it. He did it for money. So you did, and these judges did it, the same thing that you sent those teachers to jail for, 80 of them or made them pay fines, or people who uh, have burned up their cars. Burning up a car is not a crime. That's your car. But what you go to jail for is lying to the police. So when you lie to the police, now they can send you to jail on a felony for three to five years. So you did the same thing, 
Judge Langan. You did it so he would get no money. So how are you going to hide behind somebody else's 11th Amendment? It never gives you that right. So you need to come out and you don't want the public to know that you're cheating and lying at the same time, these attorney generals, you're cheating and lying and committing the fraud and helping people who cheat and lie and committing fraud. And at the same time, you're sending somebody to penitentiary for three to five years for felonies, taking their whole life away from them, from low, some little pity, petty amounts as low as $1,000. And look what you did. Look what your judge did. And you don't want the public to know about it? Well... I'm going to see that they know about it because they have a right. So she can pay the, the attorney off. So paying off the judge, not the judge, but can pay off the attorney and says, well, I'm a part of the system. He's not. Let's attack him for filing a complaint directly violating the U.S. Constitution. Show me in the Constitution where it says that you have a right. A judge has a right to take constitutional rights away. If you could take it away. It's not a right. That's something that you have control over. You're cheating someone. Uh, the U.S. public have one very important right. They have a right to know, is the Constitution for sale? The American public has that right to know. And if you get to me those rights, I will publish it to them and show it to them. But in the meantime, you're just covering up. The same thing happened in a uh, federal court uh, where you gave the judge to a new uh, Hispanic judge, young judge. I know she wants to sit on the Supreme Court one day, and I think that's beautiful. But the law is the law, and you gave it to her so that she would cover it up. You're testing her metal to see if she's, I guess, one of the boys or whatever it is that you would like to call it. But it has nothing to do with the Constitution. It has nothing to do with preaching to soldiers that they're dying for the Constitution or standing up. It had nothing to do. It's all about money. So let's not try to hide or go into the court, the Third Circuit, and, and uh, ask them, oh, uh, well, 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 bury this for me. Don't show this to anybody. I want everybody to see it. Everybody has to know if their constitutional right is for sale. I will contact uh, these judges and send letters to the judge and send everybody to inform them of this video so that you can, if you send your comments in to me, uh, I will publish those issues as soon as possible of what these judges and uh, these state prosecutors that you have entrusted the Constitution of the United States in. And now we see why people don't trust judges and they don't trust Constitution because you're lying and you're stealing and then you're sending somebody to jail for doing the same thing that you're doing. <laughs>
be fine. Shouldn't stay. Say, girl. I will leave you. You will. So I go. But no, I think of you every step of the way. And I Yeah. <laughs>